My name is Karen Daly and I teach mathematics at DKIT, a third level college in Ireland. This video was produced to further assist my first year computing students with their mathematical studies. At the end of this tutorial, you will be able to convert between the binary, octal and hexadecimal number systems. Enjoy! To do these conversions, we need to know the binary equivalent of the octal and hexadecimal digits. For hexadecimal, we need the four-digit binary equivalent of each digit, and that's what's written here in this table. First digit in hexadecimal is zero, and in binary that's just one zero. But what we do is that we fill it out with three zeros before to make it a four-digit binary number. In hexadecimal, uh, 1. Um, in binary, that is 1. And again, we fill it out with three zeros before it to make it a four-digit binary number. The hexadecimal, 2. In binary, that is 1, 0. And to make it a four-digit binary equivalent, we fill it out with two zeros before, so we get 0, 0, 1, 0. So we continue counting up in ones all the way down through the table until we end up at the last uh, hexadecimal digit, which is F, and its binary equivalent is 1111. For octal, we need the three-digit binary equivalent, and we can read this from this particular table also. Let me outline this for you. The octal digits begin at 0, and they continue all the way down to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is the last octal digit. Now let me outline the three-digit binary equivalent of these numbers. So again, it begins at 0, 0, 0, and it continues right down all the way to the last digit, which is 1, 1, 1. Let's do this first example. Convert 35.76 base 8 to binary. To do this conversion, what I do is I replace each digit within the octal number by its three digit binary equivalent. So, for example, 3, 3 in, the, in binary, three digits, 0, 1, 1. So I write down 0, 1, 1. 5 in binary as a three digit number is 1, 0, 1. So write down 1, 0, 1. Then I put in my fractional point. 7 in binary is 1, 1, 1. And lastly, 6 as a three-digit binary number is 1, 1, 0. So there I have my answer um, here. Now, a 0 at the beginning will make no difference in the size of the number and a zero at the end makes no difference as to the size of the number. So if I was to rewrite that, I'll get that 35.76 base 8 is equal to 11101.111111 base 2. And that's the solution. Let's do this example. Convert the hexadecimal 1AD.9 to binary. To do this conversion, we replace each digit in the hexadecimal number by its four-digit binary equivalent. So for 1, we write 1 is 0, 0, 0, 1. For A, we write, if you look up the table, A is 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. So that's A. And for D, if you again look up the table, D is 1, 1, 0, 1. So we write down 1, 1, 0, 1 for D. Then we put in our fractional point. And lastly, for 9, we write 1, 0, 0, 1. 1, 0, 0, 1. And now we are in base 2. Again, the zeros at the beginning of the number make, don't affect the size of the number, so we don't need to write these. There are no zeros at the end, so if I rewrote this, the answer would be that 1AD.9 base 16 is equal to 11010111.1001 base 2. Now what I would like you to do is to pause the video and try this exercise. And when you're done, turn the video back on and I'll go through the solution with you. 
So for part A, we replace each digit in the octal number by its three-digit binary equivalent. So we'll get that 1 is 0, 0, 1. The three-digit binary equivalent of 2 is 0, 1, 0. And of 3 is 0, 1, 1. Put in our fractional point, and then the three-digit binary equivalent of 4 is 1, 0, 0. And we're in base 2. Again, the zeros at the beginning and the zeros at the end, we don't need to write them down because it won't cha change the size of the number by not writing them. So the answer turns out to be 1010011.1 one zero zero one one point one base 2. Now for the last part, what we do is replace each digit within the hexadecimal number by its four-digit binary equivalent. So what we get is F is 1111, 9 is one zero zero one and b is one zero one one put in our fractional point zero is zero 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 and lastly four is zero one zero zero base two now again there's no zeros at the beginning of the number so that's okay but there are two at the end which we don't need to write and that's the answer there now let's convert this binary number here to octal and hexadecimal. Let's do the octal conversion first. Now what I do is I group the binary numbers beginning from the fractional point and moving left into groups of three. So the first group of three I have is 110. The next group of three I have is 101. And the last group of three, now I don't have enough digits to fill out a group of three, so what I do is I just add a zero and a zero in here, which doesn't affect the size of the number, and that'll be my last group of three. Then go back to the fractional point again, I move to the right, and I start grouping again in groups of three. So it's zero, one, zero. And then my last group of three is one, one. And again, I'm missing a digit, so I just add in a zero which won't affect the size of the number. Now my next step is to replace, sorry, is to replace each of the three digit binary numbers with its octal equivalent. So the first binary number is 0, 0, 1 and that in octal is 1. The next one is 1, 0, 1 and in octal that turns out to be a 5. The next one is 110, and an octal, that turns out to be a 6. And lastly, when I move, put in my fractional point, the next one will be a 2, and the last one will be a 6. And then I'm in base 8. Now for the hexadecimal conversion. What I do again is I start at the fractional point, and I group now the digits into groups of 4. So the first group of 4 is 1110. The next group of four I have is 110, but I'm missing a, a digit at the beginning, so what I do is I add in a zero, and the four-digit number becomes 0110. Again, moving back to the fractional point and moving right, my first grouping of four is 0101, and then my last grouping of four, again, I'm missing digits, so I add in three zeros, and I have 1000. Now we replace each of the four digit binary numbers by its hexadecimal equivalent. So if we look up the table, we'll get 0110 is in hexadecimal a 6. 1110 again in hexadecimal is the, the digit E. And then we put in our fractional point and we have 0101 again if you look up the table that will be 5. And lastly, 1000 is the hexadecimal 8, and that's the answer. Now what I'd like you to do is to pause the video and try this exercise yourself. And when you're done, turn the video back on and I'll go through the solution with you. For the octal solution, what I do is, I go to the binary number, and beginning at the fractional point, I group each of my binary digits into groups of three, adding in a zero if I need, and here I need to add in two zeros. 
Moving to the right of the fractional point, I do the same, and I need to add in one zero just to fill in the three digits. Then I go to my table and I look up what zero zero one is in octal, and in octal zero zero one is the digit one. I go back to my table, I look up one one zero, and in octal one one zero is a six. Again, one one zero is a six, and lastly. At the right of the fractional point, we have a 6 also. So there's my answer in octal. For my hexadecimal solution, what I do is I group the digits into groups of 4, again beginning at the fractional point. Now I'm going to use a different color here just to show you this. So moving to the left of the fractional point, my first set of 4 is 0, 1, 1, 0, and my next set of 4 is 0, 1, 1, 1. Moving to the right of the fractional point, my set of 4 is 1, 1, 0, and I have to add in one more 0 to fill that out. Going back to the table then, what I do is I look and see, well, what is the hexadecimal equivalent of the first number? 0, 1, 1, 1. 0, 1, 1, 1, if you see in the table, that's a 7. The hexadecimal equivalent of 0, 1, 1, 0 um, is a 6. Put in my fractional point. And then lastly, the hexadecimal equivalent of 1100 is the digit C. And that's my answer in base 16. Now let's do this example. Add 10110.10 base 2, which is a binary number, to 72.3 base 8, an octal number. And what you're asked to do is to give your answer in binary, octal, and hexadecimal. I can only add these two numbers when they're in the same base. So what I'm going to do, firstly, is convert 72.3, the octal number, into binary. So what I get is 72.3 base 8 is equal to, so replacing each digit with its three-digit binary equivalent, 7 is 111, 2 is 0, 1, 0, Putting in the fraction point then, 3 is 0, 1, 1, base 2. Now adding the two binary numbers, and if you have any difficulty with this, go back and look at the binary addition video. What we get is 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, 0 plus 1 is 1. Put in the fraction point, 0 plus 0 is 0, 1 plus 1 is 2, so we put down 0 and we carry 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, put down 0, carry 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, put down 0, carry 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3, so we put down 1, carry 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, put down 0, carry 1, and that's the 1 there. So that's the answer in base 2. And that provides us with the binary solution. Now for the octal solution, we do as we did before. And we convert this binary number here to octal by grouping the digits into groups of 3, beginning at the fractional point. So moving to the left of the fractional point, our first group of 3 is 0, 0, 0. Our next one is 0, 1, 0. And filling out our two zeros, our last group of 3 is 0, 0, 1. Again, moving to the right of the fractional point, we just have one group of 3 here. And then, replacing each of the three-digit uh, binary numbers with its octal equivalent, we have 0, 0, 1 is 1, 0, 1, 0 is 2, and 0, 0, 0 is 0. Put in the fractional point, and 1, 1, 1 is 7. And now we have the answer is 1, 2, 0, 0 0.7. And that's in octal. So, this is our octal solution. Now for the hexadecimal solution, we start again at the fractional point and we group the digits into groups of four this time, filling out a zero where we need to. And moving to the right of the fractional point, we have to put in one zero here to get the four digits. Then replacing each of the four digit binary numbers by their hexadecimal equivalent, what we'll get is that zero, one, zero, one, is the hexadecimal 5, 0, 0, 0, 0 is the hexadecimal 0. Uh, putting in our fractional point, then we have that 1, 1, 1, 0 is the hexadecimal E, 
and now we're in base 16. So this is our hexadecimal answer. Now what I'd like you to do is to pause the video and attempt this exercise yourself. And when you're finished, turn the video back on and I'll go through the solution with you. Because we're asked for the answer in binary, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to convert the two numbers into their binary equivalent. So for the hexadecimal number, I replace each digit in the number with its four digit binary equivalent. So 1 is 0, 0, 0, 1. A is 1, 0, 1, 0. And we put in the fractional point then. And B is 1, 0, 1, 1, base 2. Again, these first three zeros here won't affect the size of the number if we remove them. And now for octal, we replace each of the digits in the octal number by its three digit binary equivalent. So 2 is 0, 1, 0, 7 is 1, 1, 1, 3 is 0, 1, 1, put in the fractional point, then 6 is 1, 1, 0, and 4 is 1, 0, 0, and that's in base 2. Again, if we remove this first 0 here and these last two digit zeros here, we don't affect the size of the number. Now adding the two binary numbers together we have 1 plus 1 is 2 so we put down, sorry, let me get that, put down 0 and we carry 1. 1 plus 1 is 2 so we put down 0 and we carry 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, put down 0, carry 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3 so we put down 1 and carry 1. We put in then our fractional point. Then we have 1 plus 1 is 2, put down 0, carry 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3, put down 1, carry 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, put down 0, carry 1. 3, again, put down 1, carry 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, 0, carry 1. 1 plus 1, 0 is 1. And then we put down the 0, and that's the answer in binary. So let me highlight that as our binary solution. Now for her hexadecimal solution, what we do is we take the binary number and we convert it to hexadecimal by grouping the digits into groups of four, beginning at the fractional point. So the first group of four is 0, 1, 1, 0, and the second group of four is 1, 1, 0, 1. Moving to the right of the fractional point, the group of four is 1, 0, 0, 0. Now if we go to um, the table, and look at the hexadecimal equivalent of 1101, we discover that it's the digit D. Looking at the hexadecimal equivalent of the next one, 0110, that's 6, put in the fractional point, and then the hexadecimal equivalent of 1000 is at 8. And now we're in base 16. So this here then is our hexadecimal solution.